Hello there, my fellow crystal lovers. What do we have here? It is my Enchanted Crystal subscription box for January. First box of 2020. I'm looking forward to see what kind of goodies are in here. I have already uh, sliced this and tried to open it up to save you guys from watching me struggle to open up this box, as I usually do. For those of you that don't know, Enchanted Crystal is a monthly subscription box full of all kinds of crystal, mineral, and rock goodies. I will have their website below if you're interested. Every month you get a small little ditty from Adam and the Enchanted Crystal team. Uh, oh, looks like they're preparing for the Tucson Gem Show, which would be fun to go to, wouldn't it? So I'll save this and read this in just a moment. So I get the variety box, which has a crystal grid, a few more specimens, and a bonus pack. Now there's another one, a crystal of the month. It just has one item with bonus crystals. There's no grid in that one. And isn't this a nice cheerful grid? Reminds me of summer. And don't we need that right now in these gloomy winter months? Very nice and bright. Okay. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get our, uh, let's get the goods out on the table. It says free bonus mini crystals or minerals. Tiger's Eye, Silver Leaf Jasper, and Gwynny Fowl. Hmm. These are always good for little crystal grids and stuff. All right, here is our Tiger Eye. Most people know what that looks like. Very good stone for your solar plexus. It's an excellent stone to carry with you to give you courage. Oh, there it goes. Across the table. We'll put that guy right there. Uh, now these two. Silver Leaf Jasper and Guinea Fowl. I'm going to say this is Silver Leaf Jasper. I'm not sure, but that's my guess. Only because it's got some silverish looking things in there. So I'm going to say that's what this is. And this is the guinea fowl. But after I get done here, I'm going to look that up for sure. This looks like there's, it looks like a sedimentary stone of some sort. Lots of little things in this. Lots of fun things. So yeah, I'm going to look that up after this video so I know for sure. That's fun getting things that I know I don't have or ever heard of. That's a good thing about this box. You don't get the same old, same old. All right, let's just pick what, one up and go. Blue Terra Quartz, old find, very rare. All right, oops. I don't recall getting Blue Terra Quartz yet in a box. Ooh. It's got a bluish cast to it. Looks like a bluish gray to me. We've got these sister points here going on. It's a very nice shape. Looks like we got a fracture in the point there. Almost looks like Almost looks like you got something else going on in there. Like a hydro, but it's not. It just looks like a fracture. But it's neat looking where it's at. Gives it, gives it some interest. So that's a cute little guy, isn't it? So this is a blue terra quartz. Yeah, I don't think I have one of these yet. But if I do, this will go in an upcoming, upcoming giveaway. So once I get a few things that I've gotten doubles of in these boxes, I'll do another giveaway. 
So there's that. Let's put our little sticker on there so we don't forget what we got. All right, let's try to go from smallest to biggest here. Celadonite, Celadonite quartz. I think Enchanted Crystal just gives me the hard ones to pronounce just to see how I do. It must be a little game they play. I know for sure I don't have this. Oh, we got two little guys in here. Ooh, it must be Quartz Point box. Which is fine, because we like points, don't we? So, Celadonite Quartz. Don't know too much about this. It almost has like a purplish cast. Um, I'm going to put this up to the light real quick because there might be some inclusions in there. One second, I'll be right back. Yeah, for sure. There is some things going on in this guy. Uh, a little bit on the tip of this, but it's not as easily seen. But this, when I put it up to light, it's definitely purple. And it almost reminds me of a rutile quartz, only with purple little starburst things happening in there. So yeah, that's a very interesting looking specimen once I put it up to the light. And it is purple, so I was right with that. So yeah, more fun things that I've never heard of before, but I am happy to get in my collection. Oh, there we go. A Super 7. Now, a Super 7 usually looks purplish, but it's got seven different kinds of minerals in it. Uh, now, I know it's clear quartz, smoky, amethyst, lepidolite. I don't know if there's citrine in it or not, but a few other things. But I know the main ones are clear, smoky, amethyst, lepidolite. So it takes on a purple hue. It's supposed to be a really good stone for healing since it's got all those goodies. Goodies in there. I know this one is, wow. Okay. Well, that is very rare because my Super 7s are purple, but this guy is not. Looks like it has a yellowish green cast to it. So maybe there is citrine in it and I just, heard, I just forgot. But yeah, that is super cool because I don't have any this color. That's going to look really nice in between my other Super 7s, this light lemon color. And this one looks a little bluish at the tip there. Got some other colors going on there at the bottom. That is really special. I'm excited about that. I really am. I, I haven't even seen any other color Super 7s in person, so... Good deal there, huh? Ah, Congo Citrine. Citrine is a hard stone to find, and you think you see citrine all over the place, but what it really is is heated amethyst. that has a yellowish or a dark yellow color. It's brittle almost. When amethyst is heated, it turns that color going into brown, really. So real citrine is very pale. Oh, beautiful. I only have a couple of real citrines. I've got one tall tower that costs an arm and a leg because they're hard to come by. Real citrine is actually slightly rare. And this is just a very, very pretty color of citrine. A lot of citrines are just so pale, you don't know that it is citrine. You see a lot of smoky citrines also, that's very common. But this is a very nice color. It goes excellent with this crystal grid, doesn't it? Citrine is a stone that's supposed to give you joy and happiness. Probably from its nice yellow color. It does. It kind of, it just makes you feel happy holding them. So if you're gloomy in the winter, you might want to hold and meditate with some citrine, real citrine, and maybe it'll perk you up a little bit. But that is just a beautiful Congo citrine. Wow. 
these boxes always surprise me. I always say, oh, this is one of my favorite boxes every month. Because really, they all are. I love all these goodies we get. It's like Christmas every month. Oh, this one feels heavy. Brazilian Quartz Old Find Rare. I'm going to assume it's a nice crystal point since it seems to be the theme here. We got all nice crystal points. Which, hey, I ain't hating. I like me a crystal point. And it is. Very nice size Brazilian quartz. And let's look at it. We got some rainbow fracture things going on, some interesting things in there. It's very heavy. When I was holding it, I almost thought it was going to be hematite because when I picked it up, it had a, a lot of heft to it. It's a heavy, that's a heavy point right there. Very pretty color. It almost reminds me of the yellow jello quartz that I've got. It has the same uh, color to it. So it must be Crystal Point Month. I, I'm interested to see what everybody else gets. I know not everybody gets the same things in their box every month. There's a couple different varieties, but I am very interested to see what everybody gets. But I'm super happy with it. I love Crystal Points. I collect them. I sell them. It's hard for me to sell them because I once I get them, I want to keep them all. But so yeah, here is our Enchanted Crystal box for January. I'm going to go up and play with these right now in my room and do a crystal point grid for January. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. If you like these kind of unboxings, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That helps my channel grow. I really appreciate it if you did that. And I'm going to see you in my next unboxing, guys. Bye. Bye.